Hills team in almost all the years that we've been doing the game. They just don't seem to have the intensity. Uh, nothing they're doing seems to work. Their shooting has been horrendous tonight. Just a bad game so far. Still 3.02 left in the third quarter and the fourth quarter left. You hope that they can come out of this. And, and Jim, I'm not impressed by Ben Salem either. You know, if we were playing a, a team tonight, say like Plymouth White Marsh, they'd have about 80 points. It's like both teams just got out of bed or something. Ben Salem coach uh, very happy with what he's seen his team do moving off to the six point lead. <laughs> Eagles playing playing man to man and they certainly are going to have to keep with a man to man. They don't have Leave. there goes pressure. We're going to have a foul. Nice pressure. Jimmy Lever foul on Howard. He tries to get the ball from Lever. Third foul or fourth foul I think on Ben Salem. <laughs> The guy behind us wants an unsportsmanlike conduct charge because Lever threw the ball into the other guy. Thompson on the move, underneath to Moore. Moore with a dribble. He's got it. Eddie Moore off the board. 28 24. Norris down with full court pressure. Jackson comes up. Ball knocked away by Guilford. And actually, I think pressure can work against this team. There goes Jackson throwing the ball over to Howard. He runs it down. Howard on the drive all the way underneath. Doesn't have it. Oh, I think we got a foul there. Ball goes out of bounds off of Ben Salem. The Eagles will inbounds and move down court. Here comes Jimmy Lever with the ball. Eagles down by four. Lever on the move. Ball stripped away by Bush. Bush on the dribble, launches a jumper from outside, no. Battle, Bush with the rebound, no. Battle, Guilford with the ball. Thompson finds Lever ahead of the pack. Lever with his left hand turned, spin move. He's got it. Eagles Jimmy Lever with five, two. Eagle back within two. This is Bush with the ball. Over to Howard. We're under two minutes in the third quarter. <clears throat> Outside is Bush. Eagles in man to man. Jackson with the ball. Comes across court to Houston. Ben Salem content to be patient again. Hang on to the ball. And Ben Salem throws Back the court. ball away. Out of bounds. It will be Norris down ball with 131 left here in the third quarter. Eagles a chance to tie this ball game. Ball into Lever. Lever on the dribble outside. Finds Moore. Moore over to Thompson. Thompson on the drive. Going all the way. He's got it. And Knocked we have Thompson. a tie ball game. 28 all. Eagles with left. pressure. Jackson on the move. Breaks the pressure. Going all the way. Gives it over to Lewis. Lewis to Houston. Nothing there. Back to Jackson. Jackson fakes the shot, is content to come back out. We're under 50 seconds here in the third quarter. Will Ben Salem play for the last shot? This is Houston, more on him. Houston comes back to Jackson, Lofton Thompson playing him. Gives it over to Bush. Bush with Guilford on him. It's hard to tell whether they're playing for the last shot or not because it looks like they always are. Now, got a foul on Perry. Uh, maybe not. We got one three. We got a foul on Bush with a pick. Eagles have a chance to take the lead. Thanks to the officials, according to the guy behind us. Coming down to 10 seconds and counting. Lever with the ball. Lever on the move. Stagger step. 
Bounce pass into Moore. Moore misses. Josiah Perry, ball blocked. And the Eagles a chance to take the lead. <laughs> I think we should have a technical on the fan behind us. Josiah Perry going to the line for the Eagles with two seconds left. Shot is up, off the rim, no good. One more chance to put the Eagles in the lead. Of course, the Eagles have no one on the foul on, or on the key with the two seconds left in the game in the quarter. Shot is out. It looks no like good. we're going to have a tie ball game going into the final quarter. There the ball. The end of three quarters. It's Norristown 28 and Salem 28. And at this pace, uh, it should make the final score somewhere around 36 to 35. Uh, Shades of 1920. <laughs> Basketball at its best. Well, well, if they put this in the paper, they're going to think it's the girls' game. I, Frank, that comment could be construed as being sexist. <laughs> Would you like to explain what you meant by that, please? Are you if listening? Somebody has to come out this quarter and play the whole quarter with some real intensity. Well, we hope it's Norristown. Yeah, actually, you're right because it's straight. It, this is the kind of game that it's tough to, to stay awake for. You know, they've had basketball games before where the final score has been like two to nothing or four to two where a team throws the ball for a whole game. Can you imagine doing a game like that, what that would be like? Yeah. I mean, this is pretty bad, and it's, at least it's 28-28. But, you know, yeah, Norristown is missing three good starters. And, you know, you can't just give up. Um, 60% of your team and, and have it not affect you in some way. Well, this is what's so surprising though, because I was talking to a, a man here who has seen Ben Salem play. I was talking to him at halftime, and I asked him whether this is the way Ben Salem plays, and he says no, and that surprised me. If, if Norristown had of all starters, I could see maybe doing this, but why would you do this when Norristown doesn't have three of its starters? Yeah. And, very little scoring on the transition game tonight, which is really unusual for these two teams. Lever outside, Grandy playing him. Now, Grandy has four fouls. This is Eddie Moore, Moore to Perry. Perry on the move, tries to force it underneath. Ball goes out of bounds. 7.35 left, 28 to 28 is our score. Eagles giving partial pressure. Reggie Jackson with the ball breaks the breaks the press. Goes into Grandy. Grandy's being covered by Reynolds Mason. This is Lewis with Perry on him. Lewis trying to dribble through. Ball controlled by Howard. Howard goes into oh, just the a Lewis, lucky bounce Lewis of the scores. ball for Howard. Three points. For Christian Lewis. Here comes Lever. Lever launches a three. No. I can't believe Lever took that shot. Why not? <laughs> he didn't have to. In a game like this, you want him to take a better shot. The problem with that is the Eagles are not scoring from underneath much at all. They've been really struggling. This is Jackson. You certainly don't want to ben Salem, let Ben Salem get out by six now. There goes Howard on the drive. No. Got a foul, can't see who it's on. It might be on Moore. Three. There it is on three. Find somebody with two. This will be Howard going to the line shooting two. And here's where fouls become important. Both teams are in the one and one. In fact, our next foul will result in the two shot foul. It's a three-point lead for Ben Salem, which in this kind of game is a big lead. Howard with eight. Shot is up. Howard around, no good. Big rebound by Moore. Eagles trail by three. Perry goes over to Lever. Lever goes down to Mason. Mason to Thompson. Thompson underneath to Moore. Good play. That was a good foul there. Well, the first he had one the was shot made. 
and they didn't let him get the ball. The first one was a good block. I think the foul was with the body, and that was number 54, Alex Houston, his second. And these foul shots are crucial. The score, 31 to 28. 6.34 left in the game. Moore's got it. Nothing but twine on that one. Eagles down by two. Second shot, no. Mason gets the rebound, comes out the lever. Lever launches the three, no. Rebound by, uh, that's Grandy. Over to Jackson. Eagles down by two. Lever playing Jackson. Jackson with a fake. We're going to have the foul on Perry. I don't know. I'd like to see an instant replay on that one, Jim. Looks like he got all ball to me. Uh, if I you didn't... look at our monitor to the right, Frank, I think you'll notice that he got hit by the body. <laughs> it clearly shows that on the replay that we're looking at. This will be Jackson. Jackson misses. Both teams are cold from the foul line. Both teams have been pretty cold from the floor. I wonder what the shooting percentages are tonight. They've got to be low. Jackson second one up, he's got it. The Owls by three. Lever back for Norristown. Perry, Mason. Thompson and Moore for the Eagles. Lever over to Thompson. There's Josiah Perry. Moore with the ball over to Mason. Mason a little uncertain about what to do with it. Over to Thompson. Oh, Thompson to Moore and the ball it's goes out of bounds. And there's a question where the players just aren't ready for that pass from Thompson. Well, as I said, that's because you have three subs in there for three starters, and that's going to happen. Ball over to Grandy, Grandy to Howard. And Salem with a three-point lead. And you can be sure they're going to be content to slow it down yeah, if they, they can. They may try to freeze it the rest of the game. Jackson. Nothing there. Almost a five-second call. This is Houston. Houston to Howard. Howard to Jackson. Jackson looks for the shot, doesn't take it. Eddie Moore playing him. That's not the matchup you want. They switch back. Lever gets him. Here goes Lewis, we got a block by Perry. Perry comes out with a ball. Nice defensive play by Josiah Perry. And we have a walk on Perry. Timeout, Ben Salem. Good hustling defense by the Al, forced ben to turn Ben Salem over. up by three, and maybe the coach is gonna tell him to freeze the ball, you think, for the next five minutes, 14 seconds? Well, the way they're shooting fouls, I don't think I'd be content to do that. I would wanna go to the basket. Thirty-two to twenty-nine. I wonder if Tom Osborne's sitting up there thinking, "What have I gotten myself into?" Of course, he's probably been in the backwoods of a lot oh, yeah. <laughs> different places than this, watching a uh, basketball. <clears throat> well, Jim, I think when we replay this game, we'll turn up the speed a little. Play it at forty-five instead of thirty-three. Yeah. <laughs> There's five minutes and 14 seconds left in the game. The Eagles of Norristown trail 32-29. And yes, fans, that is not a mistake. We're in the fourth quarter of an extremely low-scoring game, both teams having difficult finding the best. Jackson in inbounds for Ben Salem. What are the Eagles doing? What was... I don't know why Ben Salem took that shot. I think they thought that, I think some of the Eagles looked like they thought that they had the ball. Lever with a jumper around, around, bounces, it's in. Jimmy Lever with seven. Eagles down by one. Full court pressure. Oh boy, they, a little different look this time. There are tall players playing defense and uh, they had Jimmy Lever in the back. There goes Bush. He's broken the press. He finds Lewis for the basket. Lewis with five. Thompson over to Lever. Eagles down by three again. 
It looks as though we may hit 40 tonight, Frank. Yeah. Lever, jumper from the line, no. Rebound Houston. Houston to Grandy, Grandy over to Lewis. Lewis to Jackson. Jackson finds Howard, Howard launches a three. No, rebound Bush. Excuse me, that's Grandy, six foot four. Gets the rebound, that's a big rebound because Ben Salem gets to keep the ball. Down to Lewis with the ball. Reynolds Mason playing him. To Howard, Thompson on him. Weaver's playing Jackson. Ben Salem content to sit McGee on it. gets Jenkins off the bench, knows they need him for defense. Here's Grandy, over to Houston. Cross court to Howard. Howard fakes the three on the drive to Houston. Ben Salem perfectly willing to take its time now. There's Jackson. We're down under 335. Jackson on the move, out to Lewis. Lewis launches a three. He's got it. Big three-pointer. Brings the lead up to six, which is a big lead at this point. Eight points for Lewis. Thompson on the move all the way. No. Moore, turn around. No. Thompson misses. We've got a foul on Lewis. That'll be Lewis's second foul. Thompson going to the line for two. Jenkins coming in for Moore. Ben Salem with a six point lead, which means the Eagles, even if they make these two foul shots, have to get two more possessions. Plenty of time left though, 313. And Ben Salem doesn't look like a team that can put it away at the foul line. At least so far, they haven't looked that way. Thompson up, he's got it. This is a game where you actually like to see the Eagles pull it out. They've been trailing almost the whole time. Thompson, second one up, he's got it. Four Lofton point Thompson lead. drains two. Thompson with 12. Eagles going to full court. Ball comes in, almost stolen away by Mason. Lewis comes up, a lot of pressure ball to Houston, Houston to Jackson. Beaver's going out to play him. Eagles playing man to man, which they have to do it. Jackson's this point. probably not a man you want to put on the foul line. Thompson playing Howard. Howard with a spin move. I think we got I think we got a five second call on that. That was a fast five seconds, Jim. Well, as long as he's outside, he's got to penetrate inside that line. It doesn't matter whether he's dribbling. Lever back, Eagles need a bucket. They trail by four to Thompson. Thompson on the drive. Thompson to launch the jumper, no. This is Jackson on the move. He finds Howard. Howard on the drive, no. Jackson with a rebound foul is going to be on Mason. I think the foul may be on Jackson over the back. Yes, it is. Yeah, I didn't think Mason fouled him. Or Houston. And that's a two-shot foul. You may have to restrain me, Frank. I may say yeah, something. This guy behind us is too much. Actually, that was a good call. That man's complaining. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Eagles lever misses a shot. Jackson with a rebound. Big fouls there, Frank. We need every one. For Ben Salem. Jackson on the move. Jackson going all the way. Comes back to Houston. Houston to Howard. Eagles. Ball goes off of Howard's foot. Out of bounds. Well, the Eagles are certainly getting their chances. Eagles call time. Two minutes and 18 seconds left. Ben Salem 37. Norris down 30. Three. You think this guy's going to run out on the court? <laughs> I hope he does. I think they can call a technical for that. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, that technical's looking pretty big now. That's the difference. That was a four-point turnaround. Yes. Actually, it's a two-point turnaround because the foul had been called, and the guy made both foul shots. But the Eagles would have gotten the ball after the foul. Yeah, but we don't know whether they score, so... We can safely say it's a two-point one. 
Try to set the scene once again. We have two minutes and 18 seconds left in the game. The Norristown Eagles are trailing by four. Both teams are in a situation where they will be shooting two on every foul. But I think the Eagles are going to have to take their chance, Frank. You know, one thing you notice about the Eagles, and we've said this so often, right now it seems that it's Thompson and Lever going down and taking his shots, and neither one of them is on. Yeah, somebody else is going to have to take a chance on scoring. There goes Lever. Lever launches the three. It's out. That was not a smart Battle. shot. Lever trips. I think he tripped over his own player. There goes Jackson. Smart play goes back outside to Howard. Howard to Houston. I Over think to Ben Grandy. Salem's going to make him foul us. And Grandy's played the whole second. Eagles do not have the matchups they want on defense. No. There's Grandy. Let's listen to it. We're going to have a foul. It's going to be on Lever. 147 left. Grandy will be shooting two. Four point lead for Ben Salem. But actually, the Eagles have no choice but to foul. You have to foul. But you know, I didn't think it reached the point yet where the Eagles had to start taking three point shots. They're not hitting, Charles, they're not hitting from anywhere tonight. Doesn't matter whether they shoot from underneath or outside. They've been having trouble. I thought that was a two shot foul. Yeah, I. I Here comes Friedman in for Ben Salem. For the Eagles, Brandon Guilford has come in for Perry. Friedman replacing Grandy, probably getting a better foul. Ball goes underneath, shot missed. Houston with a ball blocked. Jackson, ball taken away by Guilford. Foul on, on Guilford. Oh, is it on Guilford? I thought he caught it on Jackson. Grandy coming back in for Friedman. Ben Salem coach making offensive defensive substitutions here. 141 left in the game. The lead is four. Jackson on the foul line, and he is not the one you want on the line. First shot is up. He's got it. Reggie Jackson with nine. Jim, what do you want to bet that somebody on Norristown is going to come right down and take a three-point shot? I'm not going to take that bet, Frank. Second shot is up. Good. The lead extends to six again. Eagles coming back. Lever on the move. Lever on the drive. All the way. Right. Ball is blocked by I Houston. I was wrong. Houston called on the foul. And he very quickly moves away. I'm not sure that was a foul, Jim. I don't know. Lever's got it. First shot, 39-34. Scott Friedman comes back in. He replaces Houston, and he's a better ball handler. Probably a better foul shooter, too. Josiah Perry coming in for Norristown. He will replace Guilford. Lever's got them both. Two big shots. Eagles down That's by four, four again. Lead. Eagles will have press. full court pressure. Friedman and makes a smart play that time, calling a timeout. Eagles had better look to their defensive assignments, though. They had a man behind them there. If they're not careful, Ben Salem will get a real easy basket. And the Ben Salem cheerleaders. We have one minute and 36 seconds left. The Norristown Eagles trail by four and have been behind for most of the game tonight. Pivotal play came at the end of the first half when the Eagles picked up a technical foul that resulted in two shots. And Reggie Jackson made them both for Ben Salem. Other than that, it would be a two 